now in session. The Honorable Judge Livingston is presiding. Please be seated. Gentlemen, can I have you each state your name, starting with you, sir? Elijah Tyre Thomas. Okay. And you, sir? Elijah G. Sweet. Okay, gentlemen. My name is Judge Livingston. I'm a representative of the city of Greer. My job is not to find you guilty on the charges that we're about to talk about, but to advise you of what the charges are, what your rights are, and most importantly, if you can get out, what your bond is. Yes, if you have any questions, I'd be glad to answer your questions, but I do ask for mutual respect, meaning while I'm speaking, please listen carefully. <coughs> and while you're speaking, I will return the same courtesy. You both have rights that I'm going to review for you, so please listen carefully. The first set of rights are covered on this form that you're going to both be presented with. You first have the right to remain silent. Anything you state can be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to a public trial, and you have the responsibility to be present for any court appearances scheduled regarding these charges that we're going to talk about. Should you fail to appear in court as scheduled, the court is authorized to issue a bench warrant for your arrest for failure to appear for your court appearance. You both have the right to an attorney of your choosing. You could represent yourself in court or you can receive assistance from the public defender's office. Should you choose that last option of the public defender's office, please be aware there is a screening fee that is associated with their services. Should you change your address while this is still an active case, please notify the court immediately of your new mailing address so that there's no lapse in communication with you. If your charge is found not guilty or it's dismissed for any reason, you do have the right to have it removed or expunged from your criminal record. Do you understand that first set of rights? The second form that continues your rights looks like this, and it basically states in the first paragraph, if you're found guilty by the court of your charge, what you can expect because of a plea guilty. Second and third paragraph goes into more details about your right to an attorney. The fourth paragraph basically states that if you are asked to pay a fine related to your charge or charges, and you need assistance with coming up with the money for that fine, please contact the court, and the court will respond in kind, work with you with a payment plan. Lastly, it is ultimately your obligation to keep up with your court dates, and if you have an attorney, to keep that person apprised of when they should show up to represent you. <coughs> Any questions on these rights? <coughs> Mr. Sweet, if you'll come to this first table here. charge that has you here is called criminal conspiracy. Do you understand that charge? Yes, ma'am. Okay. It is a general sessions charge and if convicted carries up to five years jail time. This first form covers the rights that we initially covered. May I have your initials on the highlighted lines and your signature at the bottom please.
This next form is a continuation of your rights. May I have your signature at the bottom, please? Because your charge is general sessions or a state level charge, you do have an additional right, Mr. Sweet, to what's called a preliminary hearing. A preliminary hearing is a preliminary hearing is your opportunity to hear the evidence that's been collected for your charge and the judge that's presiding over this hearing to also hear that evidence and to make a decision on whether or not, based on that evidence, it's sufficient to continue on to state court or it needs to be dismissed immediately and go no further. If you're interested in exercising your right, you do have 10 days from today's date to sign your name, print your information, and return the form to the address that's highlighted, which happens to be this building. If you know now that you're interested, you can fill this out and I'll turn it in for you, but you do reserve 10 days to make a decision of your own. What would you like to do, sir? Could you uh, explain it? Sure. Okay. Basically, if you do nothing, uh -huh. your charge continues on to state court. Yeah. This is an opportunity for your case to be reviewed and possibly dismissed. Yes, ma'am. I would like to do it. Okay. Mr. Sweet, what is your city, state, and zip code, please? Um, Taylor, South Carolina, 29687. I will turn that form in for you, sir. Yes, the bond amount associated with your charge is $5,000. Yes, it is a cash or surety bond. You can get a bondsman to assist you if you like. Your initial court appearance date is August 23rd of this year, 9 in the morning, at the Greenville County Courthouse. The address is provided on this form. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Do you I have a question? I was going to ask for a pen so I can write it down, but I'm good. It's on the form. Okay. Yes, Thank you. May I have your initials next to the circled X? Yes, You can ask it now if um, you have a question. With a bondsman assisting, is that where you would only pay like a certain amount? Yes. Okay. Typically they ask for no more than 10%, uh -huh. but most charge way less. I would recommend calling around before you decide. You do have a bond condition that you will be placed on electronic monitoring prior to your release from the jail facility. Yes, May I have your initials, understanding your bond condition, yes, your signature next to the circled X, and please print your information to the best of your knowledge on the opposite side.
Mr. Sweet, do you have any other questions? Um, no, no. Okay. I'll ask again before we adjourn. Yes, okay. Sir. Thank you, sir. Mr. Thomas, yes, may I have you come forward? Mr. Thomas, you have both magistrate level charges, which means it stays with the city of Greer, as well as general sessions charges. So the first charge that we're going to talk about is your magistrate or your city level charge. Interfering with police. Do you understand your charge? Yes, ma'am. Okay. It is a misdemeanor charge, which means that if you're convicted of this charge, you're looking at spending no more than 30 days jail time. Okay. May I have your initials on the three highlighted lines and your signature at the bottom? This next form is a continuation of your rights. May I have your signature at the bottom, please? Your bond associated with interfering with police is $1,087.50. I'm allowing you to sign what's called a personal recognizance bond on this form, which means that you don't owe any money on this charge at this time. Your responsibility is to make sure you show up for court. Yes, ma'am. July 31st of this year, 2 p.m., you need to be in this courtroom. Yes, ma'am. Okay. May I have your signature on the top line, and then please print the rest of your information to the best of your knowledge. Okay, do you know the number to where West Chase Apartments is located? As no. far as the street address, you don't? No. Okay. Do you have uh, any? Um, I can put the part, my apartment number. Okay. Gotcha. What's your apartment number? Um, 236. Okay. Do you have any questions on this charge? No, ma'am. Okay. The remaining three charges that you have are as follows. Armed robbery, possession of a weapon during a violent crime, and criminal conspiracy. All three charges are general sessions charges, and they carry a combined total of up to 40 years jail time if convicted. Do you understand these three charges? Yes, ma'am. The rights that we covered initially are on this form. May I have your initials on the four highlighted lines and your signature at the bottom?
This next form is a continuation of your rights that we reviewed earlier. May I have your signature at the bottom? Mr. Thomas, you also have the right to a preliminary hearing that I mentioned to Mr. Sweet. Did you understand what a preliminary hearing is? If not, I would be glad to explain it to you again. Thank you. Just one more time, please. Certainly. This is one of your rights. It's your opportunity to hear the evidence that was collected on all three of your charges in front of another independent judge, not your trial judge. The judge listens to the evidence presented on each charge separately, makes a charge on each charge separately of if it's good enough as is with the evidence to continue on a state court, or if that particular charge is found lacking and it needs to be dismissed. This is an opportunity for your charges to be reviewed and possibly one, two, or all three to be dismissed depending on the outcome of this hearing. If you do nothing, you forfeit this right after 10 days and all three charges continue on to their final destination of state court. If you decide to sign this form, then you're saying, I would like the preliminary hearing and you'll be scheduled for this hearing and the review of these charges will occur. Yes, ma'am. What would you like to do? Um, fill it out. Okay. You do have 10 days. Do you want to fill it out now or would you like to consult someone? Next to the check marks, please sign your name on the top line and fill out the rest of your address information in its completion. I will turn this form in for you, okay? Yes, ma'am. All right. You do have some bond conditions that I want to make you aware of. You're going to get a copy of everything that you've signed as well as you, Mr. Sweet. So you'll get a copy of this, but I'll get, I have to review it with you. While you're on bond, you are not to have in your possession any firearms or ammunition. If you do have any firearms or ammunition that you know of at this time, please let our agency know so that we can actually go retrieve those items and hold them in safekeeping until the ending or the conclusion of your case. Secondly, you will be placed on electronic monitoring when you are released from jail. You are not to leave the state of South Carolina without receiving court permission first. And do not return to the incident location and it's mentioned on this form specifically for you to notate. Do you understand those conditions? Yes, ma'am. Okay. May I have your signature at the bottom? Your initial court date is scheduled for August 23rd of this year, 9 a.m. It's going to be at the Greenville County Bond Court, or Greenville County Courthouse, excuse me, which is in downtown Greenville. You'll be notified of all of that information in your paperwork. At this time, because of the nature of your charges, you've been set with no bond, but you can get a bond through obtaining an attorney who can then petition on behalf of the circuit court judges to get you a bond. Okay. 
Okay. Yes, so at this time you have no bond, but please seek an attorney so that person can help you get a bond set for you. Okay. All right. Any questions that you have on any of your charges? Okay. Mr. Sweet, do you have any questions? Gentlemen, I thank you for your time and attention. If there are no questions, court is adjourned.